Meldung, wie ich gestern geschlafen und heute bei Ende. But in the last one year, and as Qualcomm, we have been heavily involved in making sure that this action with generative AI, all the different kinds of uh, capabilities that we talked about, comes directly into the hands of consumers with devices on hand. Your smartphone, your PC, your IoT devices, and eventually into automotive devices as well. And that's been the sea change between, say, last year at MWC to this year. But at this point in time, we have just gotten started with the age of AI. I think this is going to be a transformative moment in terms of how we start using these extremely sophisticated devices. So I'm expecting and I'm hoping that we're going to see some far more innovative use cases as we move forwards when someone will say, you know what, I think I'm going to get myself an AI phone. Maybe it's not just a smartphone anymore, maybe it's an AI phone at this point. Mobile World Congress, MWC, is the largest connectivity event held annually in Barcelona, Spain. Tell me an interesting fact about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the demonstration of intelligence and creativity by computers. This has been such a great week in Barcelona. Aquesta ha estat una setmana fantàstica a Barcelona. Translate to Japanese. Set to Japanese. What are some good coffee shops nearby? So there are some things that normally you would pull your smartphone out of your pocket for, whether that's taking photos, taking videos, capturing notes or memories, or looking up things, navigating the world around you, or even doing something like communicating with people around you in different languages. These are all things that the AI pin can do for you with allowing you to be present in the moment, which is a really important part of what AI pin is all about. As the user basically starts using the bike and they're going for a ride, you know, and of course they're going to do that, you know, as often as they like, and they're going to capture that data and they're going to upload that to a cloud. AI is going to be scrubbing through that data for the user 
and they can make recommendations next time to say, I have another you know, option for you. Because you like riding in the mountains, I found another beautiful trek for you. So that's what AI is doing for the user. It kind of is acting as your personal assistant, your concierge, you know, your friend, anything. So here at MWC, if I turn in any direction now, I'll see AI. It is everywhere. And that's good and bad. Undoubtedly, there's a lot of potential for AI. It stands to be very transformative. In the near term, what does it really mean? And this is a risk, because from a consumer perspective, if a lot of these brands that you see around us are just throwing AI in as buzzwords, it risks becoming increasingly meaningless because AI doesn't mean a lot to consumers. It's what it actually enables. Companies using AI and policymakers, they very much work towards the same goal. I think from a pr private sector perspective, you want to ensure that your customers are safe, that they will trust the companies they engage with. From a policymaker perspective, you want to protect your citizens and make sure that the technology can benefit all. So that's really where there is a convergence. And we see a lot more public and private dialogue, collaboration, discussions about you know, how should we govern that technology, how do we ensure it's safe, ethical, 